Um, Adam had his gun on him the whole time because he said this is how people get robbed. So I was just waiting for him to use it. A Florida woman now sharing the story of how helping a stranded driver in the Talladega Forest Sunday led to a shootout in the woods. Her boyfriend dead and two women now charged with murder. Hello everyone. The Clay County Sheriff's Office now says the suspects appear to have camped in the Talladega Forest. Authorities say in the camp they also found a five-year-old boy who charged them armed with a shotgun. ABC 3340 Stephen Quinn spoke tonight with Michaela Paulus, whose boyfriend was killed during the robbery attempt. And Stephen Paulus says that she found herself at one point alone in the woods with her boyfriend's killer. Brenda Michaela Paulus is back in Florida tonight with her family. Her boyfriend, Adam Simji, and her were set to begin a new chapter in college together next week. Now, as for the woman who she says killed her boyfriend, Michaela says she said everything she needed to in those woods. Michaela Paulus and Adam Simji's road trip was meant to celebrate the beginning of their new journey together at the University of Central Florida. It ended in bloodshed. Sunday started with a trip to Mount Chiha, where they found Yasmin Hyder seemingly stranded on the side of the road. Fate then seemed to intervene. He had just bought this huge battery pack and made sure that we charged it the night before. Michaela is also the daughter of a mechanic. I even called my dad and we watched YouTube videos and stuff to try and fix her car, but she, at the end when nothing could be done, she pulled out a gun and told us to walk into the woods. Hyder told them to drop their phones. She asked for banking passwords, but Michaela knew something she didn't. Adam had his gun on him the whole time because he said this is how people get robbed. So I was just waiting for him to use it. She described what happened next. Her guard dropped after she had asked for all the banking passwords and stuff. And Adam pulled out his gun and told her to get on the ground and... Um, that's when she started messing around with her gun. It jammed once, um, but they both shot at each other, and she was shot a few times, and he was shot only once. Michaela found her phone and called 911. Adam was bleeding, so she used her shirt to desperately try to stop it. He never woke up. He literally was like an angel on earth already. Everyone that met him loved him. He was always making jokes and being goofy. It took nearly 30 minutes for paramedics to arrive. Michaela says she found herself alone in the woods with the woman who killed her boyfriend of four years, the man she loved, the man she lived with. So what did she tell her? We would have given you food and money. I already told her like she didn't have to shoot. I think I've said everything I need to say to her until we go to court. Now, during all of this, Paulus came to the realization that a second woman, Crystal Pinkins, was also there. She's been charged with murder along with Hines, and she was also found at the camp along with her five-year-old son, who Brenda described was armed with a shotgun when police arrived. Now, as for Michaela, she is back in Florida, and she tells me she's leaning on friends and family to get through this week. She's also putting off beginning her master's work at Central Florida, which she was supposed to begin Monday alongside her boyfriend. Brenda.